we're still out here or not is up to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's not according to us, but that'll come in the spirit, knowing when to actually get up off these streets. The point being is that the opportunity right now is to hear the word. Now, like the brother said earlier, when it talks about a scarcity or a famine, it's just a lack of resources. It doesn't mean in these days to come that you won't hear the word. It just means it's going to be very scarce, very rare that you come across the actual truth. Was there more on that? Uh, that was it on that one. That was it? Come on, we're going to go back. Uh, oh, no, you had the precept. Yeah, go ahead. Precept. Come on. Uh, this is Ephesians chapter 6 and 18. Mm -hmm. It says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, huh? and watching thereunto with all perseverance mm -hmm. and supplication for all saints. Mm -hmm. Verse 19, and for me, that, utter, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Yeah, if you know something, I mean, if you know something is going to happen, then you have to utter it boldly. You have to go out there and proclaim exactly what you know, especially if what you know is going to lead to not only your salvation, but those men that actually are going to, men, women, and children, that are going to hear the word that was given unto you. Oh, um, 2 Timothy 3, and I think it's verse 12. Till I come give attendance to God's It's somewhere around there. Let's grab that though. But that's a beautiful precept. I should have put that in my video. It talks about what? Us having this boldness to come out here and speak these words. Once again, the point being right now, we can do that because we know for a fact that we have the testimony of Yahweh Shai which is the spirit of prophecy. So we can proclaim certain things that happen before they come to pass. Um, is that it right there? 2 Timothy 3 and 12? Let me see. Yeah, that will live. You can read that though, verse 16, that's cool. This is, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Yeah, that works too. All scripture is given for inspiration of the Lord. Uh -huh. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Yeah, for instruction and in righteousness. Oh, that's perfect. Because what do we also talk about? We said, okay, we're letting the world know literally the future. We're telling them what's going to come to pass before it comes to pass, right? But with that also, we're letting them know how they can receive deliverance and be protected in that time to come. Is that not also part of the instruction? Read that one more time. Again, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High and it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Right, and it also talked about correction, right? Are we not out here once again shaking, shaking the hands of the people? Not only these other nations, but even two thirds of our people. We're letting them know what they need to do in order to come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now we understand that's not going to happen. Why? Because that's not prophecy either. But think about it. Our people have tried everything under the sun. They've tried rioting. You have the 50s and the 60s, the civil rights movement. You have everything that these people have tried except for doing what? Except for repentance. Why don't our people want to repent? What's so hard about repenting? What's so hard about getting on your knees and saying, you know what? I have sinned. You know what? I'm not perfect. You know what? I cannot save myself. I have to come back to my true power, being Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Now that's also the solution. The solution to getting out of this predicament is Yahweh Shai. Now for us to receive protection in that day, you believe on Him and guess what's going to happen to you? Go ahead, Ak. This is Isaiah chapter 65 and verse, fi verse 15. Was it 66? 66 and 12 maybe? It's 65 and uh, or 12? Look around there. It's free verse 12. Yeah, it's verse 13. All right. Isaiah 65 and 13. Uh -huh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Behold, my servants shall eat, uh -huh. but ye shall be hungry. Uh -huh. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Right. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. That's also a part of our testimony. That's a part of the testimony of Yahweh Shai. You know how we know that? Is that not prophecy? Absolutely it is. When there's a lack of food, lack of bread, 
lack of water and also lack of the true knowledge of these scriptures, well, guess what? The Lord said that because we have that testimony and we proclaimed it boldly, then we're going to be able to eat. We're going to be protected. We're going to be safe in those days. That's why we're out here proclaiming. Con. That's why we're out here proclaiming this word boldly. But where does all that start though? It starts with repentance. You have to actually acknowledge your power being Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. There's no if and buts about it. There's no other way around it. There's no other way to receive salvation by what? I mean other by what? Get Acts 4 and 12. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's, uh, it's Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 uh -huh. and it reads thus says Yahweh stay in the ways and seek and ask for the old paths where is the good way and walk therein he shall find rest for your souls but they said we will not walk therein. Yeah, exactly. I know why he meant to bring that out because I was talking about how our people have tried every other thing, protesting and rioting and everything like that. Well, if that's not working, right, what's the most prosperous, prosperous that our people have quote unquote been ever since slavery, right? Some people will say it was Black Wall Street. But what happened in Black Wall Street? We already know the story. Some Edomite lied and she went to talk to other Edomites and that was their excuse to come in and actually bring the Air Force to bomb Black Wall Street. What was that, Tulsa, Oklahoma? Oklahoma, I believe it was. Absolutely. So, so if that's the case, and our people have actually built up a society at one point that was quote unquote for our people, and mind you also, when you go into that kind of history, you'll find it wasn't just black people, so-called blacks, it was actually so-called Hispanics and Native Americans over there in Black Wall Street. So we did build up at one point. But what happened? The Lord allowed the Edomites to come in and destroy that because it wasn't time for us to have our own kind of sovereignty. In order for our own kind of sovereign nation to come, Yahweh Shai has to return and bring us back to our own land. Get Ezekiel 37. Start of verse 21. Can you read that one more time? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16. Uh -huh. And it reads, it says, Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, uh -huh. where is the good way, uh -huh. and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. That's what our people don't want to do. You know, they don't want to seek the old path. They always want to do something new or that's trending, all right? But technically, there's nothing new or trending. The Lord says there's no new thing under the sun. So you have to go back to what uh, was put in place originally. But our people don't want to do that. You can read that again. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Right, that's what we're doing, you know? We're actually standing in the way and we, to ask in the old path, meaning to uh, what's in the scriptures. Uh, get real quick, bro, get Deuteronomy uh, 32 and, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 6, or, six, or 7. Yeah, 32 and 7. Read 32 and 7. Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Right, so that's the first thing that it says. All right, remember the days of old, the years of many generations. When you deal with these days of old and generations, you have to get into what? Names. All right, uh, 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 family members. All right, history. Uh, you have to even get into a little bit of secular history to uh, validate things. All right, according to what? The scriptures, though. Read that scripture again. Again, Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Mm -hmm. Ask thy father and he will show thee. Right, and in part in that is what? It's something that we just did. We kept uh, the feast of dedication, Hanukkah. Only way to do something like that or even know anything about that, you have to consider the days of old. You gotta dwell upon the past. Right. Lord. Thy elders, and they will tell thee. And that's what we had to do. It's not like we just came up with what we're speaking on overnight and just, you know, just started speaking on it. Brothers spent months and months studying, man. 
to the wee hours of the morning to figure out this truth. Why? Because we started fearing the Heavenly Father, man. We started, He started revealing unto us, like the brother was saying, the future. He started giving us the understandings of the times. All right? But to only on, to get those understandings, you have to consult with somebody who received it first. And that's what we did. And those men are known as the elders and apostles of a great millstone in these times. Starting with uh, the high priest and elder apostle Tahar, all right? Apostle Ramlav, Apostle Gabar. All right, on down to the rest of the apostles and Apostle Rakan, which are all beautiful men down to the, uh, 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 in the spirit, man, if you're able to meet them. Go ahead. No, that's good. Go back. It says, this is Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, and it reads, Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein. Right, because all these new trends, none of them are good. All right, none of them are good. The, the new trend is what? To, to make every uh, child in America transgender, man. That's the new trend. That's one of the trends. You had a question? Yeah, I was, uh, I was talking to this brother right here. So look, man, I've been reading up on this. I've been studying this. I've been looking at this for like, for like, for like X amount of like, probably like a year. Beautiful. And I ran across this one, this one YouTube thing, uh, uh, and it had this one right here. And it was showing how the Negroes from the Lost Tribe of Judah, and it was showing how like how we got how we got crossed up in, in the Atlantic slave trade, how we went to the West instead of going to Egypt. It was a lot of what they, what they were saying, but this right, right here just. I just appreciate y'all. Did you know we're here? Or you just walking? Or? Nah, bro. I literally just. I literally just walked by. All right. right. All right. We're gonna get you. You got some time? Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. So we're gonna. I'm first. I'm gonna get a, a, a precept on exactly what you just said. Okay. All right. Get John 10 and uh, 20, and you get uh, Isaiah 30 and 20. All right. We'll switch up, brother. Yeah. I'll bet you. Yeah. Whoever. Yeah. Uh, you know what it is. You here. Yeah. Yeah. You got 30 and 20? Read it. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. Right, so it said, this is prophecy, all right? So it says, though the Lord give you the bread of adversity, meaning the, uh, the stuff that we go through, you know, the hardships. Go ahead. It says, and the water of affliction. Right, which is the slavery, everything you've been studying up on that the Lord put us through because of the curses, I'm sure you know about yeah, it. Right. Go ahead. Yes, shall shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But it says, yet shall not your teachers be removed from a corner anymore. Go ahead. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers. But your eyes shall see thy teachers. Go ahead. Come on, verse 21. And thine ears shall hear a word behind thee say. And your ears gonna hear a word behind you. Go ahead. It says, this is the way, walk ye in it. Mm -hmm. When ye turn to the right hand, and when ye turn to the left, Right, and that's exactly what happened today. You know, that the Lord, the Lord literally, the Lord literally stopped you. All right, stopped you in your tracks to hear the truth. You found it? Uh, I believe it's, uh, it might be not right. Yeah, that's good, yeah, yeah, that's good. Is it 23? Yeah, yeah, read that. You can start at the top for real, for real. Go ahead, This is uh, St. John chapter 10 and verse one. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But he, he, there's a lot of avenues, because a lot of people, they hear about the Hebrew Israelites and they see all these different sects. There's a lot of different sects of Israel. Mm -hmm. All right? There's, uh, there's uh, these guys that are uptown, the, the uptown uh, 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 DC, they call themselves folk people. They're over there in Columbia Heights, they bring out the truth there. All right. Hello, real quick. What's up? Y'all hear any gunshots right here? Nah. Okay, that's all I need. Thank you. All right. There's up at up, uh, uh, Folky. All right. They up uptown. And you got some guys that are downtown uh, in Chinatown. All right. And that's the spirit. He asked that question when um, I just I was mentioning these guys. Those guys are uptown. They uh, right now they're in the business of selling a uh, military vest to our people with fringes on. All right. Yo. That's totally. That's not the spirit that we're in. All right, we're in the spirit of uh, uh, exactly that, the spirit. But right. I don't look at it as a bad thing. It's, kind of like it's all about the image, all right? That's not the image uh, 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 that the Lord is putting forth. That's a zealot image, a militant, a militant image, all right? We're spiritual men. All the, all the prophets, 
The only thing, you know what got them killed? The words that they spoke. Not because they were coming up with these great plots to try and do things. All right? Now, read that precept again. Cut. This is uh, St. John chapter 10 and verse 1. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the, into the sheepfold, mm -hmm. but climbeth up some other way, yeah. the same is a thief and a robber. Right, and another way would be calling on like another false name. Mm -hmm. All right, like, uh, like, you know, a lot of our people say Jesus Christ. That's not his name. And then the ones that believe that is his name, they just use it loosely. And this is the name that's supposed to get you delivered from the destruction that's coming. Mm -hmm. All right, but we know good and well that the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. Right. You have a lot of people that say Ahaya, Ahaya, Ashar, Ahaya, which is in the same precept. That's just saying that I am who I am, but that's not the Lord's name. The Lord's name is actually Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah. What's Yahweh mean? Yahweh means he is to be. All right, or I basically, uh, I, I'll break it down. Yah, Yah before a word means he or shall be, or uh, he is, all right, basically, that's what this means. Yah means he, Hawa means is or shall be. All right? And then his son's name, Yahawashai, Yah means he, and then Hawashai means savior. You got the sign with the, okay, here we go. This is Ibu. Just so everybody else can understand. All right, these are the other ways. Read that scripture again. I don't think I can take a picture. Yeah, you can, of course, you can take a picture of this. This, this is St. John 10 and one. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Get uh, uh, Acts 4 and 12, yep. All the precepts on the end, uh, and, uh, uh, No, 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 he's gonna keep reading, go ahead. It says, he that entereth not by the door unto the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. Right, and these are the other ways. These names have never worked for our people over the last, I don't know how many years. Mm. All right? Mm. Just tell them different spirits associated to them, mm -hmm. all right? This, the first the ship that they, oh, you probably know through your history, uh -huh. the, the, one of the first ships they brought over here was called the Good Ship Jesus, yes, sir. all right? And that's why in slavery, in slavery, there was a couple laws. If you got caught reading, you would get beat. They didn't want us to read, right? Yes, but if you picked up the scriptures and started reading the scriptures, they killed you. Yes, they killed us for reading the Bible. Why? Because eventually the spirit revealed that we belong to the people of the scriptures. All right, now go uh, read that scripture you got. This is the book of Acts. This is the book of Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Yeah, hold this up uh, right here, brother. So on Acts, chapter 4, verse 12. Neither is there any salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right, and there's no other name. Point blank, period. There's no other name that was given among men. And, the, and, the, and people. They try to uh, scoff and say that this language is not real, but we don't care. It's based upon faith. It's always been upon faith. Get uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. Uh, uh, read that in precept again so we can hear that again. This is Acts chapter 4 verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Right, and that name is Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who the world, like we say, they ignorantly call him Jesus Christ. All right? Is there any way I can get the contact information on this? My brother, he incarcerated. Oh, we we here every Saturday. Every Saturday. Every yeah, Saturday. Uh, and on you on Wait, YouTube. Do y'all meet somewhere? Like, do y'all? Right here, every right every here week, no I matter what. Know. All right. Like yeah, yeah. Like no matter what, we here no matter the weather or anything. Hold up, bro. Hold up. Bro. All right, and uh, somebody write down the YouTube page for this brother. All right. And you live in this area? Yeah, I just moved out here. Okay. So you we, we're out here every Saturday. If the fear, Temple. if you if the fear of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is on you, you you pray to them. Telling to allow me to be able to make it out there to uh, to be where the spirit is, because that's ultimately what you want. You want to be where the spirit of the Lord is, man. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Um, make sure you write that down, bro. Bring keeps going the scriptures. Keep going. Read that one. This is Hebrews chapter eleven and verse six. Oh, he's calling you from. Now he called me from prison, but I just tried. To, I literally just tried to answer his call. Okay, he probably okay. will call me right back. All right, go ahead. Now. This is Hebrews eleven and verse six. But without faith. It is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Right, so you have to, the first thing is originally you have to believe. 
a lot of our people, they don't have enough faith to want to wait. First of all, a lot of our people, they want to act on their own belief, their own opinion. And you see where that gets our people. You see the state of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. They're in the ruts everywhere on earth, man. Sure. Even if they don't look, even if they may look like these other nations, wherever they're scattered, they're at the very lowest society, man. And there's a reason because of that. It's because they, they lack the faith. They, they lack the understanding that they just had to believe and the Lord was going to make their way prosperous. Can you get uh, Joshua? Oh, you no, know, you, you can read what you got. Get Joshua 1 and 8. Uh, Philippians chapter 2 verse 9 Wherefore the Most High also hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name mm -hmm. verse 10 right his name is above every name all right and these names these are the names right here these are the other names that are up there and there's a whole lot of other names out there all right in the, uh, in the if you see in our scriptures if you see in our scriptures you can see that there's Roman numerals and that there's no J's and there's I's, all right? So you're gonna see, you're gonna see this basically everywhere, or, or, or this, but it looking like an I. In the 1500s in Ireland, you know what they were calling him? Heland, H-E-L-E-A-N-D, Heland, look it up. In the, in, the, in the medieval times in Ireland, they were calling our Lord uh, Eland. And these were people that uh, called themselves really believing in devout Roman Catholics, you know? Uh, go ahead, read that. Come. This is Joshua chapter 1. All right, Shalom, bro. I'm going to be back next Saturday. Yeah, yeah say name. Lord willing. You know, pray to the Lord, Lord that you can make yes, it back, sir. all right? Yes, all right. And don't forget the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. Yes, when you go to our page, you're going to hear it all the time. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, we sir. proclaim that name heaven. All right, Shalom, Mark. Shalom. 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 This, is, uh, this is the book of Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8. The it says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, uh -huh. but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is what? We understand that the law was always about faith. All right? Now as the law is what? We're living by the law of righteousness. Or the law of faith, that's what our righteousness is. That's what we're justified by. The scriptures say that faith shall flourish in these times. I mean, it's going to increase. All right? But our people, they have faith in the wrong things. All right? And what... And they think that having faith in those things, they're getting increases of the world, all right? And we don't want increases of the world. We want increases in the spirit. But only get to get that, you have to have belief. All right, go ahead. Huh. It says that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right, and you know, Jake, they want to half-ass everything. The Lord said we had to do all, all right? That's why your faith that has to be 100%. You can't have halfway faith. The Lord is not going to be pleased with that. All right? Go ahead. You're condemning it. The scripture says you're basically destroying yourself. Go ahead, Ah. Come. It says, For then shalt, it says, For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, mm -hmm. and then shalt, it says, and then shalt have good success. Right. It says, then thou shalt have good success. And that's what I wanted to let him know. You know, because the good success, the hope is in the scriptures, man. It's in the deliverance. Yahweh Shai coming to get us. All right? That's what the good success is. It's not the success of this world. And when you look up that word success, it's shakal in the Hebrew. All right? Which means uh, uh, prosperity or prudence. All right? And inte spiritual intelligence, if you will. All right? Uh, read that scripture one more time, bro. This is uh, Joshua 1 and 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, yeah. but thou shalt meditate. Oh, Isaiah 8 and 20, get that real quick, bro. It says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, mm -hmm. that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. Right, and it said the law shall not depart out of our mouths. That's why we stand here with our fringes on so our people understand what we're about and with our beards on our face, all right, and the customs that we keep. All right, and the way that we, even the way that we speak, man. The, the, the Lord commanded us to speak boldly, like the brother was saying. Go ahead, Art. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, and we, the, a lot of you people are dark, man. You got darkness inside of you, man. Because you're trying to, sell, you're trying to govern yourself according to what you believe. The Lord's not dealing with what you believe. He said his ways are higher than our ways. So if we want to understand something and comprehend why what's going on in the world or your personal life, 
you need to get into the scriptures. But a lot of people, they have a hard time getting into them because they refuse to be taught. They don't want to be corrected. Nobody wants to be corrected, but you have to in order to grow. Read that scripture again. Again, this is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word. Right, so not only the law, all right? That was just the first part. You have to speak according to the law, but you also got to speak according to what? The testimony. Now get uh, what the testimony is. The revelation. Yeah, you finish it out. It says, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Right, so if they don't speak according to this testimony, it's because there's no light in them. And you can question the testimony of people, man. What's your testimony for today? Or what's your testimony for your life and for your future? It's definitely not going to be according to the law, all right? Or according to what the Lord says what the program is in the scriptures, all right? Now read that precept. God. This is Revelation chapter 19 and verse Amos, 10. Amos 3 and, and I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Worship the Most High for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So we're reading what his testimony is about. Go ahead. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And right, so every time a testimony or, or, or a word is being talked about, about our Savior, who the world calls Jesus Christ, it has to be in the spirit of prophecy. I mean, it tells us what's going to happen in the future, man. Let's let's stop talking about how great uh, the, uh, the 90s were, man, or how great the VMA were last year, man, or how great the VMAs might be next year, or how great something else in this world might be. Let's talk about the future, man. What's going to happen after America's destroyed, right? right. Mm. What's going to happen to these people on this side? Because you Christians, all right, you Christians refuse all right, you call yourselves Christians. You refuse to talk about the karma and the payback in the scriptures. Mm. It has been there since the beginning. The people wanted to build a tower, what did it do? The Lord paid them back by destroying everybody on earth. That's what's going on right now. Everybody's in this come together spirit. As, as long as you believe in God, that's okay. I don't care what you call on them. Somebody could be calling on Satan, man. Don't you know you have Christians that pray for atheists? That's stupid. Uh, get John 17 and 9 real quick, man. Th these Christians, they don't understand, and we're going to get into this. Let's get into the payback of the Heavenly Father, man. Because that's prophecy. Because we're talking about future. When your company. When your company. When your company. Uh, has to, uh, they gotta give you, uh, say they didn't pay you everything for that check, right? That means what? You're waiting for payback. That's what we waiting on, man. And that's exactly what we gonna get. And when your company, when they do that, it be, they have to basically give you, you have to double up on whatever they were supposed to give you. And that's what we gonna get. The Lord's gonna double down on these heat Edomites and these heathens. Now read that uh, scripture, bro. Check the Revelation. Yeah, one more time. Come. This is uh, Revelation. Chapter 19 and verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Right, because when you show obeisance, the only way to show obeisance and reverence to the Heavenly Father is to go through his Son. All right? That's why the angel said, don't worship me, worship the Most High. He's the one that put this plot out and gave it to you, Yahweh Shai. So worship him. For the testimony of him is basically the spirit of prophecy of everything to come. And then the whole book, the book is called Revelation. All right? A revealing of things to come, things in the past and present. Now read that scripture. You got something not? Yeah, bring it on out. Bro. This is a book of Revelation, because you said bring out the payback, right? Mm -hmm. It said this is a uh, Revelation chapter 18 verse 6 and it reads reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her double according to her works. Right. Who is that her? That her is America. It's the ground you're walking on. Mm. The scripture says give her double according to what she has given to us. 
right? What, how, what did America do to these people on this side? Slavery. Exactly. Because let's say, let's say, hypothetically speaking, which is not true, if these, if these, let's say Judah were the so-called East Indians in all the other nations, right? And then you apply that same question, it's like they haven't done anything collectively to all these other nations. But when you put these people on here, it makes sense. Mm. All these people went through the same thing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We have to be the people of the scriptures. So what's going to happen to the people of the scriptures, man? They're going to get double. Um, this ore, man, is, has lashed onto us for long enough. We have to get double. That's right. Bro, we're coming into so-called... Everyone believes 2020. This is the year 2020. It could be fucking 2040 for all we know. <laughs> you know? Or uh, 1940, you know? But the, the but the beast has pushed this uh, agenda 2020, this 2020 thing in all the movies growing up. Yeah. So we want to know what's going on. Right, and the thing is, the apostle even said when they started counting the times and uh, calendars, the year 2000 actually came back in the 60s. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So we really, this whole 2000 being, like what, uh, 20 years ago, that's not, that's off. Yeah. That's off. And what happened during the 60s? That's when the Lord put the spirit on a man named, what, Abba Bibbis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Whom we know to be who? John the Baptist. You know, in the reincarnation. Yeah. So the year 2000, and the Lord said that what? He would rise, he would rise up, and you know, on the third day. Now the third day becomes what? 2000 and minute. The year 2000, when we say 2000 years, when you get 2000 in one day, you're already in the third day. So it's already been two days, now we are we already in the third day. Yeah, so that's right. And we've been on the third day. We've been on the third day for, for years now. Going back to the sixties. So now we wait, we inching closer and closer to the Lord coming back. That's why now you see all, all hell is getting ready to break loose. You know what I'm saying? And they have no answers and they're gonna continue to not have answers. Right. Like the, the, the elders said, but the Christians. Now the Christians will not worry about the Christians. You know what I'm saying? We worry about the elect out of the nation of Israel. Now, there's still a few elect. Hey, let me get a right quick. Romans 11 7. Did you read something up? Okay, just finish it up. Yeah. Oh, sure. This is uh, it says, latter part of verse uh, of verse six. Call it again, Mark. This is uh, Revelation 18 and six. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, mm -hmm. and double unto her, double according to her works. Right. And the cup which she hath filled, filled to her double. Right. I mean, I know if you brothers realize, um, when you got these so-called Jews, right? They went to their so-called affliction, all that fake Holocaust. They've been getting retribution since the 40s, all right? The Japanese got put in concentration camps in America. Mm. They got retributions. So why is it that we're the only people that can't get retribution? Why? Because it was special. All the heathens got beef going on between themselves, but the one thing they're not gonna do is allow us to be ourselves, mm. which is Hebrew Israelites. Oh, remember um, Ahmadinejad? If, I, yeah, if I'm saying it right, move, yeah. yeah, um, the former head of Iran, when he made that speech years ago, saying that hey, we know that the people living in the land of Israel are not the real Jews, right? But why did he say who? They, clearly, if you don't know, if you know they're not the real Jews, then you must know who the real Jews are. Why did you say that other part? Why? Because at the end of the day, it's like, well, us is 